Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at another two-in-one set release here from Kotobukiya. This is the Frame Music Girl Miku in Tamotu colors and the Tamotu in Miku colors. So they're coming together here for this set release. Very cool. Both kits we've seen before, but in a new colorways and with new markings and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and check them out for today's review. Alright guys, so we'll start off taking a look at the box and its contents, and like with other Mara Toys collaboration re releases, for the box art we just have this really cool photograph of the painted version of the kit set up in this really nice scene there, obviously on stage there with Miku, but it makes for some really nice box art and the kits of course look fantastic there on the front. I like the triple collaboration logos there of Frame Arms Girl, Hatsune Miku, and Mara Toys, and plus Hobby Japan and Kotobukiya for the final one there. On the side of the box, another photograph of the kits together, and you can see just how thick this box is, so it's quite deep as it's the two kits in one. On the opposite end of the box, it's different, so on each end it's different, so I just wanted to show that to you guys there as well, just a different photograph of the kits. On the bottom of the box, we got some individual photos, front and back there, of the Miku kit, all painted and decaled up, and there's the Tamotu front and back, and then with some different equipment on there with the speakers, equipment on the Tamotsu, so some different ways that you can arrange that. I don't know if there's going to be a piece to put that Tamotsu head shell part on top of Miku's head, or if that's just kind of just placed on there, but we'll find out. That's pretty interesting. On the opposite side of the box, there is the water slide decal sheet and our face option parts for this. So you got kind of smiling, smiling looking off to the side, and then a kind of open face, sort of singing face, I guess is what that would be. And then here's what the kits are gonna look like, just snap built up straight out of the box without anything else done on them. Over here, we've got the list price of 9,000 yen for this one. Considering the two kits that we have in this one box, that's not too bad of a price for this set. All these runners we've seen before in previous released versions of these kits separately, but we will take a quick look through those in just a moment. But first, just taking a look at the manual here. It's a different image, similar to what's on on the front of the box but a little bit different on that one but that looks really nice so it's horizontal style but then once we open it up it goes to your normal vertical style instruction manual here we got a couple images here on the front inside page a little bit of background about Hatsune Miku and Maru Toys there but after that it just gets into the parts list and the construction of the kit going all the way to the back here we then also got the color guide and decal guide here all the colors are laid out for you in Japanese there and that's going to be it for the manual let's check out the runners first off here are the water slide decals you have some eyes and a couple of markings there for miku herself also these parts that go i think on her arms and then some markings for the tamotu kit as well really nice very colorful really sharp and crisp those will look really good on the kit and as always our pre-painted face parts also looking very nice there's all three of those some other pre-printed parts here basically just going to be all the parts for uh, Miku's skirt. So there's white parts with a little bit of black edge painted on them. Also got a couple of bits like this white stand part there for Miku and these clear parts for the speakers. Our hand option parts are going to be molded in skin tone color. We've got open expressive hands, closed fist, open resting hands, holding hands. Just going through the parts for the Tamotu first. Runner A is all the exterior armor here in white. Runner B is going to be in a signature Miku blue color. And the same thing here for runners C and D. Runner D, we have two of those for all the inner parts for the legs. And runner E is going to be our clear parts for the Tamotu. Then we're getting into our parts for Miku, so there's all of our hair parts and a few other parts there in that blue. Runner B is going to be some parts here in a very dark gray, basically black. Runners C and D are going to be all of our skin tone parts for the kit. Runner E is some parts here for Miku in white. And then runner F we have two of. One is in black, one is in white, so you'll have to use either one color or the other. Make sure you pay attention to that in the manual. Runner G, a bunch more white pieces there for Miku and runner H as well. We've got two of these that looks like mostly parts for the speakers. And the last few little runners here, runners I in black, J in like a clear smoky gray for for, I think for her arms and then K here the music note stands for the speakers and then lastly runner X is just a little neck joint piece and that's it all right guys so here is the set all built up and we'll take a look at the different sections and the different option parts and things that you have here all in just a second but really cool set here just the two kits we've seen before individually the Tamotu we've taken a look at a couple different versions of that the frame music girl Miku we've taken a look at a couple different versions of her in the past so there's not going to be necessarily too much new in this set but the new colorways and everything in this set together as a whole I think makes for a really cool set here if you're a Miku fan and or a fan of the Tamotu 
Miku and I think both are looking great here. So for Miku in her new white outfit looks very nice. You've got the stand there of course which works very nicely as well here at the back. And once again we've got these kind of speaker parts that wrap around her hips attach at the back and there's this piece which you can plug onto the base but if you don't want to have this plugged onto the base you can use this piece instead so you've got an option there for that. That plugs right here onto the back of that skirt and then it kind of wraps up and around like that for when it's not in use. That's how that's gonna look, but then in use, you just kind of fold it out like that, easy enough. And then right here for her leg, if you wanted to attach something on, you can swap out this piece right on the side of the thigh for this one that gives you a hard point there. And then we've got some optional arms in case you didn't wanna have this style uh, arm for. You've got this one, which is just kind of a thin, simple white arm there. We got her microphone, which is just attached at the top of the mic stand here. So you can take that out. You can adjust the angle of that, the mic stand, just looks like that. And the set of speakers. Now these have their own stand, but you don't need to keep them on there. As you can see, these just have their own legs. You can just have them standing like that. You can also rotate these if you wanted to have them pointing different ways. And if you wanted to stack all four together or have them three in one, however you might want to do it, they're just individual sections that you can stack however you might like. So for example, you just wanted to have one tall tower with all four, you can do that if you want. As for our Tamotu here, the main accessory is just going to be this optional part here for the top. And this is something we've seen in past releases of this kit, so it's not necessarily a new part, but what you can do with it with this is attach the speakers onto the top of there. Now how it has it on the box art there is to have two on the top and then two attached onto the side here like that. But you do also have four of these little connection pieces if you wanted to use those to connect something onto here. Any of the different hard points that you have around on the kit, which there are many. And that's about it for all the different option parts and everything. And like I said, as for the kits themselves, I've taken a look at both of these kits separately a, t a couple of times before. So if you want kind of, I guess, a little more in-depth uh, review of either one of the kits individually, you can check out those uh, videos. But let's just take a look at a few different poses and that should basically kind of show you everything that you can do with these kits, at least as far as how they look just straight out of the box. Now, uh, on the box art, you can see that there's the markings on there and there's also a little bit more painting on Miku. So if you wanted it to look exactly like the box art, there's going to be some more uh, painting involved and then also using the included water slide decals. But it's really awesome that they included the water slide decals for you. So that's a nice accessory to have as well. Both kits do have a number of seam lines, but fairly easy to get rid of in, in both cases. So if you were wanting to get this set and not have to do a ton of work without fully painting the kit, but you want to just make it look a little bit better, I would say just do a little bit of panel lining just to bring out some of the details, especially on Miku, because the Tamatu actually doesn't really have a whole lot of external details. It has a lot of details inside, so you could do a little bit of panel lining, just like with a gray marker, I think would probably be a good option for the inside details of the Tamatu a gray or black for Miku, and you got yourself a pretty nice looking set here between the two. But let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think about this new set of the Frame Music Girl Hatsune Miku Marutoi's version and the Tamotu Miku version? So it's kind of opposite versions of each other there. But I do really like this new uh, colorway for the Miku kit. If you guys have not built uh, one of the Frame Music Girl Hatsune Miku kits, I think this is maybe the fourth or fifth different color version of this kit that's out now. So it's nice that you have another option in case like you haven't bought one yet, but but maybe this is the color version that you like most. Maybe this is going to be the time that you're going to want to uh, pounce on actually finally buying one. But I think it's a pretty cool looking set and I have a very interesting idea of something that I might want to do with this. As you guys have maybe seen in the past, I've customized and painted up a couple of Tamotu kits in the past so I was thinking what could I possibly do with this one and I kind of wanted to keep it as a set and so that's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do some customizing on both the Hatsune Miku and the Tamotu kit. It's an idea that I have in a lot of ideas that are kind of currently on going so I'm not sure it's something I'm going to get to right away but it's definitely something I want to work on here in the near future so look forward to that but for now guys thanks so much for checking out the video if you want to check out this kit or anything else from Kodobukiya you can check the link down in the video description below as always thank you so much for your support thank you guys if you also want to like and or subscribe that would be greatly appreciated but until next time I hope you all having a great day I'll see you guys later bye bye